welcome to week 4 topic 2 now in this topic of this week we will take up some of the practice examples applications of difference between two means let us first take up for large sample and then for small samples separately for large sample try to understand the whole concept with the help of an example let our example is a random sample of 90 boys and 70 girls of 18 years age preparing for joint entrance examinations were taken for comparing critical thinking ability of boys and girls separately. A standardized test was administered to assess the critical thinking ability. The mean and standard deviation of boys were found to be 62 and 8.6 respectively and girls were found to be that is 58 and 7.2 respectively. Now we have to find out whether 18 years boys and girls differ significantly in critical thinking ability. There is a difference of 4 between the two sample means of 18 year girls and 18 year boys. Can we say the critical thinking ability of 18 years boys are better than the critical thinking ability of 18 year girls? This is what is the whole thing we want to find out with the help of this example. Now, Consider the case of 18 year boys, mean is 62, n1 is 90, standard deviation is 8.6. In case of 18 year girls, that is m2, mean is m2, which is equal to 58, n2, sample size is 70, standard deviation 7.2. The observed difference, difference between the two mean m1 minus m2 is equal to 4. Now we need to test whether the observed difference 4 between the two sample of 18 years boys and girls that is in favor of boys is significant at 0 0.05 level of significance 95 percent confidence level then at 0 0.01 level of significance at 99 percent confidence level can we say critical thinking ability of 18 years boys are better than the critical thinking ability of 18 years girls at different level of significance 0.5 level of significance then we will find out at 0 0.01 level of significance so the standard error of difference is equal to already the formula is known to us let us use the formula sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 whole root over if we apply the values of standard deviation of first sample standard deviation of the second sample and the sample size of each we will find that it comes around 1.24 that is standard error of difference is equal to 1.24 so z is equal to that is we need to ask the sample size is last we need to find out the z value z is equal to d by sed standard error of difference now d is equal to m1 minus m2 by applying the values of two sample means we can find that the z value is equal to 3.22 from the table if we find the z value at 0.5 level of significance which is equal to 1.96 this is the critical value our obtained value that is the calculated value is 3.22 as the calculated value 3.22 is greater than the critical value 1.96 the observed difference is significant so we can say that null hypothesis is rejected we can interpret in this way that there is a significant difference between the mean score of boys and mean score of girls of 18 years age in critical thinking ability and the difference goes in favor of boys we are 95 percent confident that the mean score of boys of 18 years age in critical thinking ability is higher than that of the mean score of girls of 18 years age. We are taking 5% risk in rejecting the null hypothesis. Now let us test the level of significance at 0 0.01 level that is the z value at 0 0.01 is equal to 2.58. This we can obtain from the table 0 0.01 level we will get 2.58 is the critical value. So the obtained value is 3.22 as 
the obtained value that is the calculated value 3.22 is greater than 2.58 the observed difference is significant so null hypothesis is rejected we can interpret that there is a significant difference between the mean score of boys and mean score of girls of 18 years age in critical thinking ability and the difference goes in favor of boys we are 99 percent confident that the mean score of boys of 18 years age in critical thinking ability is higher than that of the mean score of girls of 18 years age we are taking one percent risk in rejecting the null hypothesis so this is the way we need to find we need to test whether there is a significant difference between the two mean at a two different level of significance 0 0.05 level of significance and 0 0.01 level of significance let us take another example in a comparative test of performance of children in mathematics of standard 12 students of two different schools the mean and standard deviation of one school of 120 students were 76 and 12.5 respectively and other schools of 150 students were 80 and 8.8 .8 respectively test whether the difference of 4 in favor of the second school is significant at 0 0.05 level now we are going to test the level of significance at 0 0.05 level as per the question now come to see how to move ahead if we analyze the whole question we can present it in this way we have two schools school 1 school 2 let m1 that is the mean of the students of school 1 76 n1 sample size of school 1 that is 120 standard deviation 12.5 similarly for second school m2 80 n2 size of the sample 150 standard deviation 8.8 .8. what is the observed difference m1 minus m2 which comes around 80 minus 76 4 test whether the observed difference of 4 in favor of school 2 that is second school is significant at 0.5 level of significance that is 95 percent level of confidence can we say performance of the school students of school 2 in mathematics are better than that of the performance of students of school 1 at 0 0.05 level of significance this is what is the whole question now let us apply the formula standard error of difference is equal to sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 whole root over if we apply the values 12.5 square by 120 plus 8.8 .8 square by 150 whole root over on further simplification 1.30 plus 0.52 root over which is equal to 1.82 root over which comes around 1.34 that is standard error of difference is 1.34 now let us find the z value z is equal to d by acd but our d represent difference between the two mean 76 minus 80 which is equal to 4 by 1.34 on simplification we will get 2.98 so calculated value is 2.98 and critical value at 0.5 level is 1.96 we need to compare the critical value with the calculated value that is the calculated value need to be compared with the critical value that is obtained from the table so 2.98 is greater than 1.96 the observed difference is significant so null hypothesis is rejected we can interpret that there is a significant difference between the mean score of the students of school 1 and school 2 in performance in mathematics and the difference goes in favor of students of school 2 we are 95 percent confident that the mean score of students of school 2 in performance of in mathematics is higher than that of the mean score of students of school 1 here we are taking 5% risk in rejecting the null hypothesis consider if we reject 
the difference be to be significant what would be the type of error suppose consider the case if we reject the difference to be significant what type of error we are committing that is in case of actually rejecting the null hypothesis if we accept the null hypothesis and we say there is no significant difference between the performance of students in mathematics between the two schools by doing so we are committing type 2 error we call it beta error so type of error is very important if we commit some mistake then definitely it lead to we need to we need we are going to commit some of the error that need to be minimized so very carefully we need to assess we need to estimate and we need to make interpretation for the whole solution of the question now let us consider for small sample the concept of small sample we will examine in the same way considering an example let us take another new example in a survey daily income of 8 rural women and 10 rural men were found to be as per the detail given that is income of women in rupees 200 500 300 600 400 550 450 350 350 income of men also represented in rupees that is 300 250 420 500 700 350 600 550 450 620 test whether the difference between the mean income is significant at point 5 level of significance now we need to consider one by one let us consider the mean of women that is first let us find out what is the mean the sum of the score is 3350 if we find out the mean the mean comes around 418.75 now let us find out x1 what is x1 x1 is each score minus mean that is deviation of each score from the mean the second column represent deviation of each score from the mean now third step let us find out square of the deviation of each score from the mean that is x1 square so if we find out x1 square against each score we will get the sum of the deviation is 2251.04.6 so this shows that is the value of sum of x1 square similarly let us find the mean income in case of men exactly in the same way we will get the average income of the men is 474 let us find out the deviation of its score from the mean that is x2 similarly square of x2 square of the deviation of each score from the mean we will find out this in against each score finally we can find out x2 square so x2 square is equal to 194040 now let us find out standard error of difference which is equal to if we use the formula that is the formula for the standard error of difference of, of a small sample we will by using the formula and putting the values x1 squares value and sample size of each you will get that the standard error of difference is found to be 76.77 from this the t that is t distribution is equal to b by sed so our d is m1 minus m2 first mean is 418.75 minus 474 divided by 76.77 which is equal to 0.72 so the calculated value is 0.72 now consider the degree of freedom as we know degree of freedom is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 2 that is 8 plus 10 Minus two, which is equal to sixteen. So the degree of freedom is sixteen. From the table with degree of freedom sixteen, t at point zero five level is equal to two point one two. So our critical value is two point one two. 
our calculated value is 0.72 if we calculate the calculated value with the critical value 0.72 is smaller than 2.12 that is calculated value is smaller than the critical value therefore null hypothesis is accepted that is we can say that there is a no significant difference between the daily income of rural women and the rural men we are 95 percent confidence in accepting the null hypothesis alternatively we can say that there would be only 5 percent error in stating that there is no significant difference between the daily income of rural women and men daily income of rural women and at par with the daily income of rural men so this is what is the whole thing how to find out how to test the level of significance between the two mean let us take another example in a test of reasoning ability of two groups of students appearing for competitive examinations the mean of two groups are given the standard deviation of two groups are given and the sample size is also given for group 1 let n1 is equal to 25 mean is 18.8 standard deviation is 3.7 for group 2 n2 sample size is 30 mean is 20.6 standard deviation is 4.2 test whether the mean difference of two groups of student are significant at 0.5 level of significance and 0 0.01 level of significance first of all let us calculate standard error of difference by using the same formula for the small sample that is standard error of difference is equal to sigma 1 square into n minus 1 plus sigma 2 square into n minus 1 divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 whole root over by substituting the value which are already given in the question all values are directly given in the question by substituting the value we will get 1.05 that is standard error of difference is 1.05 let us calculate the t t is equal to d by a c d d is equal to difference between the two mean by substituting the values we will get t is equal to 1.71 so the degree of freedom is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 2 that is 25 plus 30 minus 2 which is equal to 53 for degree of freedom 53 with t at 0 0.05 level the critical value is 2 now we need to calculate the critical value with that of the calculated value our calculated value is 1.71 the critical value is 2 therefore the null hypothesis is rejected because 1.71 the calculated value is smaller than 2 that is this shows that there is no significant difference between the reasoning ability of students of two groups we are 95 percent confident in saying that two groups of students are at par with each other in terms of reasoning ability small difference whichever is exists is due to sampling error or fluctuation in sampling similarly the level of significance at 0 0.01 level that is 99 percent confidence level can also calculated with degree of freedom 53 t at 0 0.01 level is equal to 2.66 that is at 0 0.01 level the critical value is 2.66 here we will find that our calculated value 1.71 is smaller than the critical value 2.66 therefore null hypothesis is accepted there is no significant difference between the reasoning ability of students of two groups we are 99 percent confident in saying that two groups of students are at par with each other in terms of reasoning ability the small difference whatever is exists is due to again maybe sampling error or there may be fluctuation in sampling in the next topic we will take up the difference between two correlated mean 
this is another one dimension you are going to respond to the forum questions review the additional resources and also finally take up the reflective questions to assess yourself i wish you all the best